everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a roundup of all the products and things that I've been loving throughout the month of March. One thing I never thought I would struggle with on these monthly favourites is trying to pick different things. I didn't realise how much I was a creature of habit and that I kind of love the same things every single month but there are new things that creep in each month and obviously as we get through the year we're going to be changing seasons so there'll be a lot more things coming into my months that I do enjoy but the last couple of months it's been really hard to like show you some new things that I've been enjoying and yeah just share them with you because I kind of do stick to the same things however I have seven or eight i think it is things that i want to share with you so yeah i hope you enjoy this and don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell to receive notifications of when i upload a video because i know a lot of people have been having issues with things dropping in their sub boxes when i upload so the first thing i have to show you is a drink related item not alcohol based i'm really sorry to disappoint but it is a new pod that I've discovered for my Tassimo machine. If you don't know already how much I love my Tassimo machine, I've kind of banged on about it quite a lot now, but I got one in January for my birthday and I am obsessed with it. And it has cut down my coffee shop visits so, so much. And yeah, I'm gonna actually tell you about that now because it doesn't really warrant a whole separate video but I worked out that I was spending nearly £200 a month in coffee shops I'll just let that sink in £200 a month of money that I don't have I don't have that much of a disposable income but somehow I found it and yeah it just was a bit of a smack in the face when I realized so I got a Tasmo machine for my birthday and since then I have been to a coffee shop it's what end of March now I've been about five times if that yeah about five times so I've done really really well to say that I've gone from going every day to that many and yeah anyway the pods that i've discovered and i used to drink these all the time like in the sachets you know the nescafe ones you can buy i didn't realize you can get them for the tasmo machine and it is the kenko mocha oh my word this is such a treat honestly i like having one of these on an evening with a couple of biscuits to dunk in so not slimming world friendly but hey you've got to have some luxuries in life it's just a nice little coffee and chocolate hit on an evening but i mean coffee doesn't affect me going to sleep anyway i can drink a cup of coffee and then go to sleep 10 minutes later but if you do get affected by it i don't think there's much in here so it wouldn't really affect you that much the second thing is food related because it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't mention food and it is the Fibre One Salted Caramel Bars. I'm absolutely loving the Fibre One Bars again and originally the ones that I used to go to all the time were the chocolate ones and then it was the lemon ones and these would be last. But at the minute these are taking the number one spot. So the third thing I've been loving is a item of clothing but I can't show it to you now because I've just put it in the washing machine great timing but i'll try and insert a little picture here for you to see and it is my mother like no other sweatshirt i got this for mother's day and i've been living in it i love it it's so comfortable the fit is perfect like oh, i always bang my elbow on that blooming sideboard ah oh. anyway as i was saying the fit is lovely the sleeves are so nice and big and baggy and it's just yeah, it's nice enough to wear out as well as a cosy outfit at home. The fourth thing I've been loving, I'm so rubbish at keeping count. <laughs> I really need to work on my math skills, otherwise Louie's not going to stand a chance in her homework. But the fourth thing I've been loving, and I know a lot of you have read this now, and a lot of you recommended it, and I've finally read it. I read it in a week. I just, that's quite, actually that's quite long for me book i used to be able to read a book a day but obviously since having children it's harder but it took me a week and it is friend request i've actually meant to be sending this to one of my friends on instagram but i wanted to film this video first so i'm really sorry they haven't sent it yet but it's coming your way now because i decided to do this whole on instagram thing where when i've finished a book i'm gonna put a post up on my stories and be like does anybody want this book because 
a lot of the time books I'm not going to reread so there's no point in them just sitting on my bookshelf and yeah I could take them to a charity shop but this way we can like swap books because she's going to send me her book when she's finished so yeah it's just a nice way of everyone getting involved and in fact I think what I'm going to do on Instagram I'm totally digressing again from the subject here why do I always do this in videos but I think what I'm going to do on Instagram is start up a hashtag for a book swap community yeah we can just share our books and that way everyone gets to read something new but anyway this book was brilliant honestly it i thought i could guess what was going to happen and then it was wrong and then i thought i'd guessed again and it was wrong so it did keep me guessing right up until the end and it was brilliant so so gripping it did like plateau a little bit in the middle but the rep like the beginning and the end is so worth that bit so the fifth thing i've been loving is out of my birch box that i got this month and it is this primer it's called balance me instant lift primer and it's just a tiny little sample one i think i got about a week's worth out of this but it's lovely it minimizes my pores it goes on really nicely it smells incredible so i think i might have to purchase the full size version of this because I really really like it I usually use the MUA primer which is like four pound or something I know this is going to be a lot more expensive but it's definitely worth it and I've seen an improvement in my skin since using it too so number six is a lipstick and it's this one by Barry M I've got it on now it is shade 168 it just says London UK I don't know I'll show you anyway but I have got it on now oh it says there truffle shuffle there you go and as you can see it's just a really nice nude but a little bit darker and i like that it's quite a buttery finish to it so it's not completely matte and it's not a gloss but it does keep my lips really hydrated number seven i told you ages ago about the oh, what make was it the neon organic sleep spray was it that i was loving but it was so expensive i couldn't afford it so i decided to try out this the avon planet spa sleep serenity pillow mist and now i'm saying it i don't know if i did include it in last month's favorites oh well if i did i apologize but this is brilliant and it actually has been working so there you go it's worked for toby it's worked for livy and it's worked for me so there must be something right it might be all psychological but we all have to have this on our pillow at night time but like i said i do apologize if i mentioned this in last month's video i never think to check my previous ones and see if i've included things i probably should have done that but hey at least you know it works and at least you know it is a favorite Number eight is these amazing things by Cheeky Wipes. And we have the Cheeky Wipes reusable wipes for Toby now, which I'm going to do a whole separate video on because they've just changed our lives. But they kindly sent me these reusable makeup wipes and they're brilliant. You get like a little tub of coconut oil with it and... I've just been using this to take off my makeup and you know what it's really really good I've gone from using loads of products to just this to take my makeup off and it's made my skin brilliant and I don't know if I'm going to go back to using all my other products I might just keep using this I'm going to give it a little while longer and just make sure it definitely stays agreeing with my face but so far so good but you just put this on and it melts all your makeup off and then you take one of the wipes so they're like a really soft material that's i should have seen what material they were and then they've got a really cute design on that side so i've got that design and i've got that design as well so I take one of these and I put warm water on it, quite warm water, just because I want to make sure it obviously melts all the coconut oil off my skin. Wash my face with that one and then I take another one and put cold water on it and then rinse my face with that one. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It takes five minutes and I've absolutely been loving them. You just stick them in the wash with the rest of your washing and you're done. Perfect. I'll leave a little link below to those in case you want to pick them up. But they're definitely worth investing in. I really do recommend them. 
And last stop is a candle. You all know how much I love my Yankee candles and my mum got me one for Mother's Day. I didn't expect her to get me anything for Mother's Day, it's her day. Yes, I'm a mother, but I get the gifts off my children. I shouldn't have gotten off my mum, but I really did appreciate it. And she got me this Yankee candle moonlight and oh my word, it is gorgeous. It just smells so fresh and like a summer's day and yeah, just like you're walking along the beach and listening to the waves. It just is such a relaxing scent. And I have been burning this in my room on a night time when I've been going up to read just because it chills me out and yeah, it's lovely. I'm really, really rubbish at describing scents. So I'm so sorry. Just go and find it in one of your local shops and smell it because you won't be disappointed. So that's all the products and things I've been enjoying throughout March. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe it's given you some inspiration inspiration for products. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!